Show Band, everybody. Lewis, Lewis. Oh, Steven. This is, this is the last show of the spring. Last show of the Before spring. Before we rock it into the summer, please tell everybody who we've been graced with joining you on stage this week. Oh, my gosh. From David Byrne's American Utopia, we have Angie Swan and three-time Grammy nominated Lakeisha Benjamin. And Lakeisha. Oh! Lakeisha, tell me what's going on here. What do we have here? Oh, my God, that's my new record that's coming out July 12th. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Some, uh, the, the album is called Phoenix Reimagined, Woo. out July 12th. Lakeisha Benjamin, everybody. And Angie Swan. Thank you for being here. Folks, if you watch the show, you know I spend most of my time right over there harvesting the finest Jalisco News Agave from the Atoto Nilco Story Highlands, which I distill twice in the most topical copper pots, then have it gently matured in French limousin oak casks by multi generational agaveros to create for you the complex and refined Cierto Reserve Extra Añejo Tequila that is my monologue, but sometimes. Sometimes, folks, I'm fished out of a canal by a one-eyed garbage scowl captain where I <laughs> scrape apple cores and trash juice into a discarded bike helmet, then let it sit next to the boiler till I can chug the mind-altering bilge rod of news that is my segment. Meanwhile. Oh, my. That's the only cocktail I need. It's the only libation daddy needs. Meanwhile, a new journalistic investigation went inside the penis filler boom. <laughs> penis filler boom, by the way, is the scientific term for the sound produced when you overdo it with the penis filler. <laughs> Apparently, a growing number of men are turning to fillers to expand their girth, specifically using hyaluronic acid. Which explains Neutrogena's new night cream. I don't know, just rub it on your junk. <laughs> Hyaluronic. Hyaluronic. Hiya. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Mount Everest record just got broken again because Sherpa guide Kami Rita is up to 30 ascents now. Whoa. Look at that. There's Kami right there. He looks mildly pleased and definitely over it. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I did it again. My kneecaps are now Ritz crackers. Uh, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go set the record for most not doing that again. <laughs> Even more impressive than the number of ascents is that he hit this record as a 54-year-old. Damn, summoning Everest for the 30th time at 54. I need a nap after I summit the staircase to the Jamba Juice. <laughs> Why'd they built it at that altitude? <laughs> Meanwhile, in new reality show news, Hulu's Virgin Island will be a dating show for celebrants. Virgin Island, also the theme of the pizza party I threw myself instead of going to my prom. <laughs> Loneliness under the sea. Apparently, the idea is the show will host a bunch of hot virgins at an island resort where they will look for the one. Good for them. It is so refreshing that in this time of meaningless hookup culture, there are still people who believe that there is something sacred about the act and want to save it for that very special streaming series with limited commercial interruptions, <laughs> courtesy of White Claw. No law on the claw. Regardless, regardless of the criticism, everyone agrees, Virgin Island is quite a step up from their previous offering, Dry Hump Peninsula. <laughs> Meanwhile, an upcoming auction of movie memorabilia features the iconic Ark of the Covenant prototype used in making of Raiders of the Lost Ark, which is expected to fetch between fifty and seventy thousand dollars. And I'm being told we have footage of the moment your wife finds out you spent the child's college fund on that. Found out. Found out.
Meanwhile, Wendy's will now sell you a 50 nugget bucket. Fun fact, bottom of the bucket comes with a number for the American Heart Association. <laughs> we'll be right back with Chris Hemsworth.